a rule file and a decision table with a configuration, all managed within one XML file. And to load this, it's exactly the same as you had before, only thing that changes is the resource type. So it's massively simplifying how you load all your definitions and work with definitions across these different disciplines. So we look at the run times. So in uh, JPM, you've got your process instance, you get your root token, and you signal your root token. In JESS, you've got your engine, and you add your uh, object you call engine.run. And then in Esper, you're getting your default provider, you're calling uh, get the EPT, EPR runtime, and you're calling send event. Again, there's nothing wrong with each of these individual solutions. They're just all very different because they come from different minds. Drills, we unify all this, so there's a consistency again. So you build your session, and you just call start process for the flow. The expert stack can say, you build your session, it's the same line of code. Of course, it's a different uh, method, insert and then file rules. And Drills Fusion, where, as I say, event process for us is just an extension of the rule engine. There's nothing different there, you just insert your event. And then finally, all the languages, just to give you an over idea of the languages, JPM has uh, an XML language for its processes, and it includes the transitions in the node definitions. There's a JEST rule, which is used in Lisp-like language. And uh, there's Esper. Esper doesn't really have a separate language definition. It just takes a string part of the builder, and you attach a listener. Again, nothing wrong with those individual solutions. They're just all very different. With uh, drills, we have an XML, because XML works well for processes. We take it one step further. We combine that with domain-specific XML, so you can register your own namespaces for representation of the process the way you want, which is ideal for tooling. And after all, Drool's all about declarative, domain-specific programming. And uh, there you can see the expert and the fusion. And there's consistency, because the event processing language is just our rule language with a few extensions on there. Uh, just say we have a unified API, we unify the event model. By unifying the event model, that allows us to have a unified audit logger. Any questions? OK, yeah, you're talking about the, uh, the Drool server. That's just an experimental module that Michael Neal is doing. Um, it's not really ready. Well, it is ready. There's nothing wrong with it. But it was an experiment. So that is it, it's written in documentation is experimental. And we're working on a new version of the Drool execution server. The reason for that is the one that Michael did predated the command executor, predated the pipeline. Where is the best? <laughs> yeah, so um, Michael wrote an execution server that predated the command executor, predated the pipeline. So we, that, because of that, we called it experimental. It's document experimental. And there's a new version of that Drills execution server, which uses the command executor and uses the pipeline, which gives you a really slick way for writing services. You, the command executor unifies how you work across stateful sessions and stateless sessions. So it just works the one way. It allows you to take a much more scripting approach to how you work with rules as a service, and it allows you to get much more control about what you return. Um, it's a much more powerful way. If you look at traditionally the way we work with services in the rule engine, it tends to have in and out parameters. This is much more powerful than that. We're really pleased. It's nothing complicated. It's just very slick. It's very simple, and it works well. So uh, Michael's working on a new rules execution server, which takes this and hooks it up to WS and REST. Um, we're doing some work at the moment to get that hooked up to UDDI. Uh, but that'll be in uh, Drills 5.1 uh, Community Edition, which we're hoping to release in the next four to six weeks. So our next big aim with Drills, which is all the foundations that we've been doing for, is about Drills as a service and out-of-the-box services. And we hope to get that very sick for you. Sorry, go. Uh, just kind of wondering, uh, is the server, is that kind of an attempt to be able to like scale outward? Uh, like your, your, your rules engine, uh, say you find that you have uh, so many transactions that are uh, needing to be passed through the rules engine in the first place that you're, uh, you're getting limited by your hardware, like the scale up. You know. um, that's not the initial reason for doing it. Um, the obviously, the initial reason is people like to work in a server architecture. They've got distributed services, and they need to talk to each other. Um, we are doing some research at the moment. Uh, with regards to sort of grid technology, um, because the, when you start to talk about clustering, the requirements are more than just rules as a service. And we're looking at a, a range of technology. My, my personal research project with a project called uh, Rio, and that's based on Genie. And it's, it's just research I'm doing at the moment, and that's looking at getting rules working with a Genie grid 
and we'll look to try and combine that with uh, clustering for high availability and load balancing. Just research at this moment. But that's, so yes, eventually the services will allow it to work for high availability and clustering. The initial aim is just the server architecture, uh, making sure we're able to interact and, uh, with the traditional server architectures. But this will be reused later on for exactly those things. Any more questions? How about the backward compatibility with the existing tools, files that we have? My manager told me that if I break compatibility, um, I wouldn't be here now. <laughs> so, no, we went for great lengths to introduce a new API while keeping the old API. So the new API is actually a wrapper around the legacy one. And what's actually quite nice about it is that it forced us to go with an interface implementation separation. Uh, so we create a new module called Drills API, and it's just the interfaces. And it makes a lot of sense because it now gives us a clear demarcation of what is a public API and what isn't. And that was one of the problems of Drills actually, because you have Drills Core and Drills Compiler jars, and it wasn't always obvious what was an internal class and what wasn't. So that gets us to clean that up. But yes, we, we've aimed the language and the APIs for the end user stuff should have compatibility. We've not had any complaints yet. Right? All right, thank you very much for listening. I'd say there's a lot to do in half an hour, so I'm sorry for the break.